Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I am so glad you're here. If I've, if you have not met me before, um, welcome to Create with Christy, to Devos and Doodles. Uh, I'm and doodling, and my favorite thing is to hand letter scripture. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a little devotional, and then we're going to hand letter some scripture together. Um, what you see on the screen is to this week's artwork. So today down at the bottom, well, you see, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. That's the lettering we'll do now. And then um, after this, we go into my private group and we'll do the artwork part. And if you are in that tribe, it's called Be the Light. Some of you are new. Welcome, welcome. And what you'll do is um, go in there at 1 p.m. And then we'll do our artwork. And if you're in the iPad tribe, this is what you're going to make the this exact thing um, tomorrow at 10 a.m. So set your set a reminder. Um, I know that it's really hard. Like if you're on here today, you may have just like I sent a text out. If you want, uh, Miss Debbie, would you put a text the text number up on the screen? So if anybody didn't get a text and you're not on my text list and you want to be reminded of Devos and Doodles, I can do that. So all you have to do is text that number and just type in VIP. And then I, we will, it'll automatically send you a text on Mondays. So you can be a part of this and not have to worry. However, if you're in any of, of the other tribes, you have to uh, make it a priority to set a reminder for yourself because I'm, I, I can't make it work. I thought I could do the texting where it would um, go separately out like that. And it's just not going to work out. So if you're in my tribes right now, get your phone, set a reminder for every week. Um, if you're doing Divas and Doodles, 1 p.m. Central, if you're doing uh, Sean Bright, um, Divas and Doodles, it's on uh, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. OK, and then um, so if you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're new to the page. Hello. Lauren is here. Anita's here. Sue's here. Look at all you guys. Tell me what's going on. Tell me where you're from. There's a lot of people who would love to know where you're from. It's really fun to be able to uh, see where you're, where we're meeting from around the globe. <laughs> it's, I love seeing where you're from. So I'm from Texas, East Texas, Tyler, Texas, to be exact. We are the Rose Capital of America. What is, what's famous about your, your town? Tell, tell me that. What's, what, what's famous about your town? Does that make sense? <gasps> Look who's in the Shine Bright Tribe. How's Sandra? She's from Halls, Tennessee. Who is from Texas? Anybody here from Alabama? Sask I've always wanted to say that word, but I don't think I can. Saskatchewan. Did I say it? Yes, I said it. Hi, she's from Canada. Lauren is from Canada. That is awesome that you're here. Okay, where's my YouTubers? I see that there's, I see that there's, uh, viewers, but I don't see any YouTubers commenting. So if you're a YouTuber, tell us where you're from. All right. So today, like I said, we are going to uh, talk about I Am the Good Shepherd. We're doing the I Am series. Okay. And this is our fourth week. And so, um, oh, look, Alabama peaches. Mm. Sue always says Mondays off. Love being able to be here. Lately, I've worked all other six Days. I'm from southwestern Michigan. We are known for the pickle festival. I love it. Pickle fest. I bet they. I bet they do everything you can imagine with pickles. I used to think when pickle chips came out, I was like, or fried pickles. I was like, that's weird, but I like them. I like them. Nina's on a break um, at work from Orange County, New York. Elvita Cheese was founded there. Ah, and we have the oldest winery. That's really cool. Donna's from Michigan. This desert of Oregon, Val says, watermelons, and that's a special kind. So maybe it's, I've never tried that. <clears throat> never tried that. Fort Worth, where's Tina from? Tina, we all are famous for the cat, cattle thing. What's it called? I can't think. What's it called? Uh, <laughs> what is it, Debbie? I'm trying to read you Fort Worth, stockyard, stockyard, stockyard. <laughs> oh, we're known for our tomatoes, Sandra says. Oh, the Jacksonville, Texas is, is known for their tomatoes. New Mexico, land of enchantment. I love that, Valerie. Yeah, cattle drive. I went down. Okay, if y'all haven't been to Fort Worth, it's pretty cool. 
you stand down. I don't know where it is, the stockyards. But anyway, you stand there and then they let the cattle out and they just go in front of you. And it's just crazy. All of these longhorns, a big, big old longhorns is just right in front of you. It's really cool. Shelby says azaleas and Michael Jordan. Well, that's pretty cool. We're we're known for azaleas here in Tyler. We do. We have the. OK, I told you the rose capital of America. We have this tour of azaleas and it is beautiful. And Miss Debbie, she's commenting. She's from Arizona, the land of the sun. <laughs> Amen. Vanessa, I'm glad you're here. OK, so let's get started on our I'm glad you're all here. If you're a guest, please tell us that you're a guest. We would love to know if you're a guest. We want to welcome you. We want to welcome you today. Great Lakes. Absolutely. You love the cattle run when you lived in Texas. I love it. So fun. So fun. Let's go over here a little bit. Okay, Lauren, my town is famous for sheep that come around and eat our grass, known as the land of the living skies. Saskatchewan. I hope I said that right. It's a prairie province fueled by active sand dunes, golden wheat fields. Majestic. Did you tell me you copied that from Google? Because that's a lot to write. Surely. That is so cool. We have crawfish. Vanessa has and the best seafood. I want to go there. <laughs> JJ says land of the dinosaurs. Where <laughs> she's from, they have this ginormous like plastered dinosaur. I've never seen it in person, but I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it on. Okay. Remind me. I forgot where it is. That's in. I mean, I know where it is. I just can't think where it is. Good morning, Jackie Cotton. Jackie, tell them what your town is known for. Thank you for sprinkling, Tina. Okay, so this morning uh, we are in the I Am series. And if you're new, I'll tell you just a little bit about what we're doing. We're going to the YouVersion app, the Holy Bible YouVersion app. And it says YouVersion when you pull it up. There's a whole bunch of Bible apps. And then plans, type in I Am up here. And then it's the orange I Am. It's the orange I am. And we're on week. Are we on week four? Is that right? Okay. I don't know why I don't have that one checked off. Okay. And here's our devotional. I am the good shepherd. Think about a shepherd. Okay. What's their primary responsibility? Shepherds tend to their sheep. A good shepherd takes great responsibility for the safety and welfare of his flock. He will guide his sheep through the day protecting them from walking the wrong way, eating the wrong thing, and wandering into danger. In a sense, the shepherd is protecting the sheep from themselves. The shepherd also lies atten attentive among his sheep to defend against any threats predators may pose in the night. Jesus said to his sheep, I am the good shepherd. Jesus looks after his own like a shepherd does his sheep. The truth is that God's desire was not to delegate this work of caring for us to someone else. It is quite the opposite. He takes it personally. God humbled himself so that we could know his love and fatherly affection. In his perfect plan, God stepped out of heaven to take on flesh so that we could know and be known by him. If you're reading this right now, God wants to know you. His desire to know you was so strong that Jesus, our good shepherd, stepped into our story to save us from ourselves through his death and resurrection. In Psalm 23, David writes, now tell me, is if this is your favorite scripture, tell me. I'm sure you already know what Psalm 23 is if it's your favorite scripture. A lot of us have memorized it through our lives if you've been involved in church. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall lack nothing. This statement can be true for you as well. A sheep under the care of a good shepherd can move through each day with peace that comes in knowing he is your protector. Your story may seem anything but safe right now, but know that your shepherd is watching. He will provide you for you and he will protect you. Our prayer is that you would feel the comfort and safety that comes from being known and loved by God. You serve a God who held nothing back in order to restore a right relationship with his creation. You can trust the shepherd who gave up his life to guide your daily life. And the question for you is, how can you remind yourself daily of the love displayed in the life and death of Jesus? So how, how can you remind yourself daily of the love displayed 
in the life of Jesus and death? What area of your life needs to be surrendered in to care to the care of the shepherd? So what's interesting about a shepherd and sheep? What's interesting about that? What do you know about that? Your mom read it to you. The Lord is my shepherd. I love it. I love it. I just remember hearing it in church over and over. And so uh, I was at a funeral this weekend and then they read it there. My, my cousin passed away and she was 40 six with three children. Um, one, I, I think one might be in eighth grade. He might be in high school, but anyway, and the other two are older. And so, um, I got to see all my family that I hadn't seen in a long time. And, um, we just celebrated her life, but she had two blood clots and three strokes. You just don't know when the Lord's going to take you. So, um, I'm thankful for my my relationship with her. We grew up together and um, she was the sweetest. She was just so sweet. I only saw her once a year. I only saw, I only see that side of the family once a year. And so it was always an honor to see her. And this last year, she was so cute. We were, we have Christmas at, um, it's in a gym, one of the, one of the family members gym. And um, hang on, I'm trying to, I got to think because I'm trying to move my camera. Where's that camera? Oh, there it is. Okay. Anyway, and so at Christmas, she was so cute. You know, those vacuum cleaners that have, um, they're, they're a backpack. You know what I'm talking about? This backpack. <laughs> she was so cute. She had that on and she was just vacuuming and cleaning up. So it was so cute. But thank you. I appreciate the, the prayers. And um, your kind words about the loss of Lisa. We got a lot of fun places. I want to come visit all of y'all. Um, the fossil rim. Okay, Sue, Sue and Jackie, Sue and JJ, Sue and JJ. I think y'all are the two that I've wanted to connect because I was like, Glenn Rose. Y'all are both from Glenn Rose, uh, which is, is crazy to me because it's small. So hi, Joe from South Carolina. Hello. Hello. Okay. So if you're in my tribe, we already put the printable in there for you. If you're not, this is what we're going to do um, in the tribe, but I'm going to go ahead and letter with you, but it's kind of fun to see what our template is. So um, every, every week I have a template that we put into our, our lettering tribe. And if you're wondering about it, it's not open right now to new members, but you can get on the wait list. Um, Miss Debbie, would you put the wait list link in case someone wants to do that? And when we open it up again, you'll be reminded. But um, all the past lessons, let me show you. I'm going to see if I can show you carefully. We've done, I don't know how many lessons over the last couple of years. But the one we did last week, where's the one we did last week? I'm being really careful because this is wet glue. <laughs> this is wet glue. I was hoping it would dry by now. Was this last week the disco ball? I don't think so. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Disco ball. I am the light of the world. And we've done some other. Oh, oh, this was last week. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. So what I like to do, and I want to encourage you, whether you're in the tribe or not, is not only to take the scripture, but to make it meditate on it in a way that adds some color, adds some um, texture design to make it a full piece of art, something that you're really um proud of and it can look like anything just because I have sheep doesn't mean you need to have sheep right so thanks for the wait list I'm getting my iPad soon oh good Muriel oh it's the iPad so fun so fun Tamara says hi Debbie so Debbie is our um she is the behind the scenes she is my um my what is she she's my everything <laughs> She's, she just does everything for me. Thank goodness. Cause I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. So, you know, another thing I want to show and then the tribe today, we are going to play with calligraphy ink. Okay. And a glass pen. Okay. I'm going to show you all that today. That's what we'll do our lettering with. All right. So just FYI, if you have that, I've probably never told you to get it, but and anything that I show doesn't mean that you have to have it, right? Now, I'm a little bit worried about this because it's not dry yet. I was really, some of it's dry, 
but I wanted to letter in here. So I think what I'm going to do is get a piece of scrap paper and letter there. And then I'll finish this later. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to not do it in there. But anyway, if you're wondering what that is, that is actually glue. Uh, we call it goth glue because it's black. You can make it by putting acrylic paint into your glue. And you can make it's kind of a fun like outline type of thing. All right. So what I'm going to do is just three circles. I'm going to use my erasable pen. If you don't know, if you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, this is an amazing erasable pen. It's so fun because you can erase easy with it, <laughs> but you can use a pencil. So what we'll do is we're going to do three circles, one, and they're going to be a little bit bigger than the other. And they're not going to be perfect circles and that's okay. Three circles. Okay. Now inside the circles, we're going to do, I am the good shepherd. Now you can change up your lettering styles if you want. What I did on the template is I just, um, well, let me just show you some different lettering styles that would be fun today. So what I showed was just for the sample, I'm going to go ahead and do this because I'm going to erase in a minute and show you the different ways we can do this. So just pretend like you're drawing in shapes. Well, that's we don't have to pretend, do we? Because that's what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and use my heat gun and erase these extra lines. So I like to put it on mute because this thing is loud, loud. And that's how you erase the pencil lines. Okay. So we can do, I am, I'm just going to show you a couple different ways to do it. Let's see if you can see it better if I use this color. The, is that better? How about we zoom in? Maybe that'll even be better. Yeah. I am the good and notice that I'm kind of filling up the space because if you do something like this, it doesn't look as good as filling it up. So you want to take advantage of that space. Now, shepherd is harder to fit in here, so you got to play around with it. Shepherd. I like to, it's kind of a bounce lettering where you go up and down. And see how this is just barely, barely, barely going to fit. So a couple things you can do. You can change your S, move it over where it fits better. Okay, that's one style of writing that we can do. I'm going to erase this. Magic, thank you. I, I love doing the G's too. Anything that goes down like the Y's and the G's and the whatever else, J's, those are so fun. Okay, mute. Y'all can't read my lips. <laughs> you need to hear the sound too. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. So we're printing this time. So I'm going to do just a few little different ways that you can letter inside these circles. I am. And then we're going to do this one is going to be, uh, that's all caps. This is going to be lowercase. The. I'm going to stretch it out. The good shepherd. Let's see what we can do here. See how I'm kind of going up and down so it makes a little bit more room. 
I always misspelled shepherd. I have always misspelled, so I always have to go back. I guess I did A-R-D maybe. Okay, so that's another fun way to do it. Okay, let me show you another. I want to remember to unmute. If you've been with me for a while, then you know, you know this, um, that I love doing this. Okay. So we're just going to make lines. Oh, I don't need to make a line there though. This one's not because I don't have a lot of words. This one, we could though, just say, if you wanted to, you could do all of these words in this one, which might be kind of cool. I am the good shepherd. Let's try it. You never know unless you try it. Okay. Um, so usually I fill up. I try to fill up the space here. I'm going to do it with a pen so you can a marker so you can see. So I and I'm just going to kind of fill up inside the line. Am A good shepherd. So the lines you you kind of want to make them not perfectly even. Okay. The good. See how it's following? I'm trying to go all the way up. You know, shepherd should go all the way down. Now, remember, this is sketching, so don't don't give yourself a hard time um, because this is something that you're practicing, you're playing around with, and um, it's not going on a billboard. This is for relaxation. It's to learn the scripture. The more we write it, the more it gets right in here and in here. Okay. Okay. Now. Now, this one I'm going to have to think about. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I'm going to have to really think about how to, maybe I, if I can fit this in here or not. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Okay. So, uh, because these are smaller letters, I'm just going to use this uh, pen. The good Shepherd lays down his life. Okay. I think I'm going to have to do shepherd here. But see how I'm trying to fill up this space and kind of go from line to line. Shepherd lays. down his life. And I could make another, I think I will make another line. Down. I just think it's a cool technique. It's a cool look. For the sheep, for the sheep. You know what I think is so cool? I love watching. Um, I love watching those dogs that herd the sheep. They are incredible. How they just go around. It's so neat how they get them going. Who lays down his love? You know what? I feel like the video is so delayed today because I don't get y'all's messages until like I'm already done. Okay. So there's that. Then you could go over it and marker, but see how many fun ways you can do this. And um, I did mix. Look how I mix upper and lower case. You have permission to do that. You have permission to do that. Hi, Tina. So see how that R is uppercase, uppercase, 
These are all uppercase, but that E is lowercase. And I always, I don't know why, I love making my E's lowercase. And there's a lowercase H. So freedom, this is your freedom. Now, where's the scripture from? Does anybody know? This is a pop quiz. I don't know why I didn't write it on the sheet. I, I usually write it. Is it from, let's see, John 10, 11. John 10, 11. So you can put it wherever you want to, John 10, 11, just like that. So play around with it. Sue's here. Hey, everybody. So if you just popped on, we're finishing, finishing up our divas and doodles, and we're just playing with shapes and learning how to put letters inside shapes in different ways. So we did um, all all script right here. And then we put our letter or the rest of our scripture down here. Um, we did all print and then we've mixed it up now. And we did the, I love doing these lines where you kind of fill in those lines. So anyway, so that's all we have for divas and doodles. Let me pray. Let me pray first. And then if y'all want to hang out and ask any questions or, um, we can just chat if you want to heavenly father, thank you so much for this beautiful day. Um, thank you for connecting all of these wonderful women together in your name. We know it's not an accident that they're here today. Let us all have our ears completely open to what you want us to hear and implement into our lives. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, border collies, border collies. It's just, to me, it's one of the most incredible things. I could just, I'm fascinated. I could sit and watch that forever. Because they, it's like, how do they know? And they're just so into it, and they live for it, like they live for it. So, I love that. Um, but I was going to tell y'all a couple things. So, my son's getting married in July. You won't believe what I did. You won't believe what I did, y'all. I am going to die. I'm going to die. I don't know if she's listening, Brittany. If you're listening, I love you. Okay, so Brittany is um, my future daughter-in-law. Okay. And she trusted me <laughs> to hand letter the invitations for the wedding. I wish I had my iPad with me. And so guess what? It was so fun. I loved it. What an honor. What an honor to hand letter their invitation. Okay. So she sent me what she wanted. Okay. It was, a, it was like basically a template, but with it, not with hand lettering, but it was like, you know, I'm just making up words, but you are invited, invited. I don't know how to spell invited. Anyway, hang on. Let me show you. Let me show you better. Let me show you better. Let's just pretend like <laughs> I'm writing the invitation. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what it said. So um, I'm just going to write Austin, Texas. And I mean, I, I was writing so pretty. It was gorgeous. Are you ready? And then I wrote. Oops, I got that right. And everybody got their invitations. And then my best friend from college sent me, let me just show you what she sent me. <laughs> this is what she sent me. Oh gosh, I just died. Where is Elizabeth's text? We've had, we've had a lot of texts since then, so I don't know. Can y'all guess, just guess, guess in the comments what happened. <laughs> Guess in the comments what happened. I want to show you the text because it's funny. Okay, here we go. I mean, it's kind of funny. Kind of, sort of. She sent me this. You ready? She circled this. <laughs> and she said, <laughs> what did she say? She said, it's July, right? <laughs> and then here's my like, oh my gosh, emojis, y'all. I died. That's my first mistake. And we they haven't even gotten married. It was awful. Awful. And guess who got to tell her? Me. <laughs> and that might have been better for me to tell her. But I texted her and I said, I said, I have some really bad news. And I really don't want to tell you. 
anyway, yeah. And look, it's only two letters different, y'all. Two letters. So she has a funny sense of humor. And then so I she was saying some things and I went back at her and said, it would be a lot less humiliating if you could just change the wedding to June the 3rd. And we just decided that really, really things it'd be but it'd be really harder to do that. So we decided we're going to keep it. July. <laughs> oh, they're all wrong, Jerry. Every invitation has the wrong date on it. And the, I am the future mother-in-law. I did not start off very well. <laughs> it's awful. It is awful. So now what? JJ says now what? Okay, that's a good question. Well, it's a very small wedding. And so at first I was like, what do we do? What do we do? I'll buy new invitations. I'll do whatever needs to be done. And um, and she after a couple of days, she said, you know what? We just decided let's just text everybody. Because honestly, like I I texted four people and my part was taken care of and they, they basically texted the groomsmen and the, <laughs> I'm glad y'all think this is fun. <laughs> I mean, you have to laugh about it now, but I was like, how can this happen? Because the, what's really crazy is honestly, she had June down and I told you I was just tracing it. And how does that, how does it happen when she wrote June? I mean, July, she wrote the right date. And then here I am just doing my pretty little lettering just doing my own little thing and I just decided why not June I don't know it was terrible <laughs> thank you I need to bless your heart oh making some good memories well that she said our wedding's cursed anyway you know just like I said she has a really funny sense of humor because they've had a few little you know everybody has a few little kickbacks or whatever so yep all wrong. So anyway, we just texted and I think every, no, Brandy, this is what's crazy, Brandy. No one proofread them. <laughs> Why would someone have to proofread them when, when you're just copying something? But what's funny too, is that she gave me an invitation. This is before she sent them out. She gave one to my mom, to my grandma, all of her family saw it. She saw it. No one noticed. <laughs> Nobody noticed. So June is a lot prettier. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it will last a lifetime, I guess. Uh, but I'm worried about her mom because that is that can be very crushing. Be very definitely. Oh gosh. Anyway, so I don't know if they will ever invite me to do uh, hand lettering again. <laughs> Something wonderful on the third's going to happen. I love that. I love that. So let's move on to the, to, to the clothing, to the, so I, a lot of you know that I had a Navy dress and it was beautiful on the model, man, she looked good in that dress. And then I got it and I don't know why it didn't look like that on me, but it did not look like that on me. Ah. Oh, Jerry made 35 shirts with the word spelled wrong and no one caught it. My dad, he had some jackets made uh, for, for the office and, it's a real estate appraisal company, appraisal associates. And um, they were really like name brand, nice quality jackets for the whole staff. And then they get them and they're all spelled wrong. And, you know, it just ruins the whole, you know, the whole gesture. <laughs> it did. So now every time we see that jacket, I mean, I have to say appraisal can be a little hard to spell sometimes. <laughs> Oh, okay. So back to the, so back to the dress. I had a Navy dress. I mean, in my mind, it was going to be gorgeous. These hot pink shoes, hot pink jewelry. I was going to look good. Well, everything's changed. Everything has changed. Let me show you what I'm, what I think I'm wearing. It's all different now. Um, I, and I hope this is, I hope this looks good. Okay. These are not good pictures of me. Why am I showing y'all this? This is the top part. I already had those big chunky um, pearls. And this down here is, uh, this is like, a, it's pretty. It's got a few sequins, but it's like a ribbon that's like, you know, sewn like rosette. So, but here's what happened with this. So got that dress. And then I meet my son and Brittany for dinner, my husband. And we're talking and I show him the dress. And then they show me all the guys' suits for the wedding. And guess what color they are? That exact color. <laughs> so I, so when Hayes and I get up to dance, we're going to be a big blue blob. 
And the worst part is what if we clash? What if the blues aren't right? <sighs> the drama, the drama. <laughs> Oh, someone, you knew someone that had a misspelled word on their business cards. Yeah. And that's, you know, be looking professional. You want to look professional, right? Oh, thank you. I like the new color of the dress too. Um, I know wedding dress, wedding dresses for, for moms or they're not as trendy as I like. I like trendier stuff, but anyway. Thank you for sharing that moment with me because <laughs> I had to tell someone, I had to tell all of you so you would understand that um, hand lettering is, is, um, I always like when I make like little jokes about it, if I do any TikToks or anything, that's the biggest deal is um, misspelling a word. That's my biggest pet peeve with hand lettering because if you misspell it, and you put it on a wedding invitation, <laughs> it's there. Anyway, all right. I love y'all. Thank you so much for coming today. I'll see you next week unless you're in my tribe. And if you're in my Be The Light tribe, I'll see you in 25 minutes. And if you're in the um, if you're in the iPad tribe, I will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Remember, the replays will be there. They will be there. So anyway, have a good one. Bye, everybody.